All right, for those of you who need to know, what we're going to show you today is how to remove the flywheel and the starter clutch. I have a couple of special tools here. I've got my Briggs & Stratton flywheel holder, and yes, I did label it. And uh, what we're going to do is slide it on here so it, it holds the fins of the flywheel. And then here I have my Briggs & Stratton starter clutch tool. This is a starter clutch. And what we're going to do, with the flywheel held in place, put a little weight down on here, slide this over the starter clutch, and then push backwards. Until that comes loose, we can spin that off. Get this out of the way. And then here is uh, a tool that I picked up first for a couple bucks at the hardware store. What we want to do is we want to set it over the end like this, we do not want to hit this end with a hammer because this will easily be damaged. And uh, so what we want to do is put that on the end there. Take yourself a hammer. And that jars the flywheel loose. Now we want to make sure that we get the key. And there's also this washer here that's curved and we want to keep that with the flywheel. What I like to do to keep it together is just use the magnet on the flywheel to keep that washer in place. And there you have it. Flywheel and starter clutch have been removed.